hello my friends and welcome back to my channel this is just graphics in this video i will show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can design this amazing piece right here so this design was done using pixel lab just pixel lab alone all right so if you are just joining my channel getting to discover my channel for the first time and you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe click the bell icon to get updated anytime i release videos tutorials on graphic design so when you click the bell icon you will be the first to receive the notification and then if the video really helps you if you enjoy my tutorial kindly help kindly support by clicking the thumbs um the thumbs button the like button so you can help and then you can also share the video to your friends to your family who might be interested in learning how to design awesome graphics with your smartphone so you can there's a lot you can do with your smartphone with just the piece of your smartphone you can design anything you want to design so right now i'm just going to take this piece out and then i will start by importing the background i'll be using so i'll head straight to my gallery and i'll import a background okay so i'll just go to my download so guys each and every element every items i use in this design the the, the download link will be on the description so once you're done watching you can head to the description and then download them so you can use them when or, um when designing your own flyer so i'm just going to import this um background And then now I will increase um I will increase the relative size so it will fit. And then I'll position this by clicking this two same time so it, it will be at the center of um my design. So the next thing I will do now is to um import the blow um the blur png so i'll just click on this sticker so once i click on this sticker here if you want to maintain this blur stuff here this blur design here don't click on the check don't click on this check um i can just click on the design area so you can maintain this all right so after i've gotten this what i will do next is just to duplicate so i will duplicate by clicking on copy to fill up this area so all i'm doing is to fill up this area so i'll make this place very thick i'll make the opacity thick by duplicating multiple copies right here multiple copies So my aim here is to make um, one side of the design blow and then the other side will be a kind of blow but not a blusher. So this side will be very blow. So you just have to com uh, continue to copy until you get a very nice um, opacity at um, the left hand side. Or at any side you decide to use because you might decide to use the right hand side for your own so it all depends on your choice all right so i'm just going to use one here i think one here and then i'll release a piece of this one because i want this not to be that blow okay so i'm going to copy Continue copying and then all right i think i am good to go here because we've gotten one part of design to be very blur all right okay so what i'm going to do next from here is to all right okay, let me make this place all right is to merge all these layers together so just merge them all together 
So click on the um, layers and then I will tick all the buttons. I will select all the transparent or the blur effects I have created and then I'll match them all together. All right, so I'll just click on the merge and wait for it to match them. All right, so from here I can lock this. So the next thing I'll do is import the image I am designing or I'm trying to design. So I'll head to import and I will go straight to photo room, which is the app I usually use to make my image transparent. So you just need to search for photo room on Google or you search for it on your Play Store. Well, if you want to download the one that is free that you don't have, you don't have to pay you just need to download type on um, photo room mode app on google and then you will just search photo room mode app on google and then you see links on how you can get the mode app the one that is free to use so this photo room i used to do all this um to convert all this from jpg to png transparent format all right so guys like i said subscribe like and share you can also give me um a super thanks in this video if you're really happy to watch this and you've really learned a lot from this you can give me a super thanks as well all right okay so from here our stuff is not looking good and our image is too dim it's too dark it's not it's not looking good so we need to I did this image but before i do that let me change the color of this brand because i'm not liking this so i'm just going to click on the blur effect we merged earlier and i'll head to color and i will convert this to black so let me check if it blends with our image and i think this is better it is better right it's better okay All right, so what I'm also going to do next is to edit the image. So I'll head to the color filter and I will increase the hue a bit, but I wouldn't allow the color change because this is not a human color. So I'll just need to increase the hue a bit, but not too much. So just a bit. And I think it should be great. So the next thing I will do from here is to increase the contrast. So just make to make it clear and sharp, as you can see. But not too much because if you do it too much, it's going to look good. And then the next thing I will do now is increase the brightness, so you can see this very well. And now our image is better, so we're done with this one. All right. So the next thing here is to import the effect. I use the color, um, the light effect. So I'll head straight to the import, and then I'll go search my download, and then I will use this one. All right. So I'm just going to crop this, and then I'll bring this close over here. So, like I said, I am going to. No, I can't just use this stuff like this because it's in JPEG format. So I'm going to convert this to a PNG format. All right. So yeah, using Pixel, of course you can do this. I just need to erase the black color. So I would head to erase color, and then I'll click. Um... So guys, I'm just going to select the color picker, and I will choose the black. Of um, obviously, so I'll choose the black. And then as you can see, our stuff has been erased. You can make the edges blur by. Um, increasing the smooth edges all right so from here i'll just need to place this somewhere here all right somewhere here and then i can duplicate this and i will place it somewhere around here i think this is awesome okay so the next thing i will do now is to import the birthday design png i downloaded earlier so i downloaded this from um from the net so i'm just going to import this but you can decide to type in the test yourself but 
think I like this one. So I'm just going to import it. Alright, and I will change the color head to color and I'll make this white. Alright. So this is white and then I'll bring it here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to type the name of my celebrant. So I'm just going to type Nora here. Nora and then I'll bring it here. So I'll head to font and I'll select a similar font. And the one I used was um okay. I used uh, this right okay. Alright, so this is looking great. So you can decide to add any other things you want to add. B comments and anything. So from here you can decide to save because our design is ready. You can save, click on save and then save as extra. So guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and you can give me super thanks if you really enjoyed it. And see you all next in my next tutorial.